What's up, Psychedelic Spotlight? My name's James, and I'd like to welcome you to the Psych Business Roundup, a segment where we cover the most important news stories of the past week when it comes to investing in psychedelic medicine. To start, we're going to be looking at Wasana Health, the company led by former NHL player Daniel Carcillo and fighting legend Mike Tyson. Wasana aims to treat traumatic brain injury, or TBI, with psychedelic therapy. Up until now, Wasana has focused primarily on psilocybin to treat TBI, but through a new partnership with MAPS, the company is expanding their research to test treating the condition with MDMA. MAPS, a nonprofit, is the world leader in MDMA therapy. They recently completed a phase 3 clinical trial testing treating PTSD with the substance, and the results were shockingly positive. Through the New Deal, Wasana will pay MAPS $1.5 million and the two will jointly create the protocols for the preliminary study. The goal is to test not only the treatment regime, but also their partnership, and if both work out deep in their ties. This seems like a natural fit since TBI and PTSD actually share a lot of traits. Both are trauma-initiated conditions that can cause downstream effects like depression, anxiety, and drug addiction. Though we're at the very beginning of this relationship, I am extremely excited to see how it develops. Teaming up with MAPS is a power move by Wasana, which makes me pay much more attention to the company. Hopefully this relationship lasts and the 6.2 million Americans with TBI have some hope for the future. Next up, we're going to be looking at Field Trip Health, who is continuing their expansion. As a quick reminder, Field Trip is a company focused on operating clinics right now, treating depression disorders with ketamine therapy. They also have an arm focused on researching next generation psychedelics, but for today's video we're going to focus on their clinics, and that is because the news that we have for you today is that they have opened three new clinics in Fredericton, Vancouver, and Seattle. This brings them to nine clinics globally. As ketamine-assisted therapy is the first psychedelic therapy to go mainstream, it is exciting to see their clinic count increase rapidly. Field Trip is a company that I follow closely, and I love seeing the progress they're making. Finally, we are going to be looking at Sidon Inc., who has announced that they have completed their 74th preclinical trial. The company has evaluated a whopping 50 unique compounds, though the ones that they are the most excited for are CYB003 and COB004, both of which will progress to clinical trials next year. Both 003 and 004 are similar to psilocybin, but apparently they have been improved in specific ways, such as having a shorter duration of effect and a quicker onset action. 003 is in the form of a dissolvable tablet, while 004 is inhaled. If these two do in fact work better than classical psychedelics in a therapy setting, then psilocybin may have some winning compounds on their hands. As a reminder, a giant stumbling block for psilocybin therapy is that the effects of the drug last anywhere between 6 to 10 hours. And if a patient must be observed by a therapist for that entire time, the therapy is going to be very, very expensive. Therefore, a compound like 003 or 004 would make psychedelic therapy more affordable and crucially more accessible. That's all for today, folks. Don't forget to sign up for the Psychedelic Spotlight newsletter, which delivers the most important news directly to your inbox. Plus, you get CEO interviews and exclusive content. The best part of it all, it's completely free. So just go to psychedelicspotlight.com to sign up now. If you guys enjoy these quick little recaps, show the algorithm your love by liking, subscribing, commenting, you know all the good stuff to do. Until next time, I'm James from the Psychedelic Investor.